Hello everyone. In this video we will talk about how to work with Focal Resume Basics. Okay, so what is Focal Resume? It is software that helps us draw a flow chart and we can turn it into software programming. And this is a really good tool for the beginner because you don't have to write a single line of coding. You just draw, you just add some stuff in here and then it, it will literally generate a uh, programming for you. So first thing you need to do is you have to uh, you have to change the format okay? because this is the format that is more uh, common. Okay, so let's go to edit and change the styles. So you can see that the styles that is that I set is called classic, but the styles that when you first install the software is going to be called the default. One of the big difference is this hexagon for the Y loop symbol. Now you can see that the symbol is in like the hexagon mode, and the E is in the uh, is in the diamond shape. But for the classic, they both look the same. And this is more common, and I will tell you why later. But let's stick with the classic mode. Okay, and click. Okay, now uh, that's the first thing, right? Next, uh, let's add something. We're gonna we're gonna write some quick programming here. So first, I'm gonna I'm gonna declare some variable, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna assign the value to that variable, and then I will. Uh, I will output that variable. Okay, so this is very simple. You can see that different shape is for different uh, action that we have. So declare. Once you have the symbol, you can double click on it, and then I will declare i and j. I will declare two variables. A variable is just the name that can hold value, and both are integers. Click OK. Then I will assign i which is our first variable i to five then uh, i'm going to have to assign another variable which is j but i forgot to do it so i can either click the arrows in between the two symbols or i can just click on the previous symbols and then right click and copy i prefer it this way because it's probably easier then you can right click on the line, okay? Be careful, right click on the line that you want to insert another symbol and click paste. Then you will repeat that same symbol and then you can double click to change the value, both the variable and the value. All right, now you have two variables that you already declare and then you assign one, you assign the second one and then you are going to output. So I'm gonna output i plus oh sorry i plus j. Click OK. Then next thing you want to do is you want to run. But to be able to see the stage of your program while you're seeing the output, I would suggest that you uh, change the layout. So click on the layout here, and then I'm gonna change it to the variable layout. Okay. Now. Once you have another small window open up here, then you're ready to go. Uh, you could either run the whole thing, or you can just step by one block at a time. I'm gonna try the step first. Click on it. Now you can see that this this highlight is where we are going to begin. All right. We have the main, which is the main line logic of the program, and uh, the integer uh, i and j is not. They did not yet declare, but it well, there will be next step. Okay, so next step you already declare both the variable, but you haven't done anything with them. So you can see that in the main logic here you have i and you have j, but they are both uninitialized because nothing is in there. So next, uh, once you skip past i equal to five. I would be assigned 5 so you can see the value 5 in this block and next you might be able to guess j would be equal to 9 okay j equal to 9 and the next step which is the last one you're gonna have the output which would be equal to 
that result. I output is 14. Now I didn't have this console up at the beginning, so it kind of pop up. You can have it open. So let's try and chain it. Uh, I'm going to chain it to variable and console. See now it's it's more manageable because you have uh, three of them. So I'm going to stop and uh, let's see. So that's how we build the steps. But if you want to run the whole thing from the beginning and you don't want to see any step, you can just click run and everything will just like happen in a flash. So you click on it, everything just happens. Now let's see if you change, for example, you change it to eight, uh, and then you clear up the variables, and then you're gonna clear this one also. Okay, and you run the game from the beginning. That's what happened. So that's the first thing, right? In the algorithm, you can write a, a program. This is called a sequence. Okay, it's step by step from top to bottom, and then it just do whatever you want it to do. Now, if you finish the program and you want to save it, you can save it as algorithm uh, format, a defined type. So click save. And then make sure that you save it in the uh, in the right format, which is like .fprg. So I'm going to save it as I'm going to save it on the desktop as a sample. So there you have it. Now that's the first program. Now we're going to learn a little more about it, which is like how are we going to navigate this? This is just one one issue. So now let's click on add something more. Let me uh, maximize this window first. Let's click on uh, adding some more blocks here. Now let's take a close look here. In this pop-up window, you have clipboard, which is the one that it will be available if you copy something or you cut something. So you can have it in here, you can paste it anywhere. So what do you have in here? You have this little block, which you, which you remember from the beginning, right? I'm gonna delete it now. Let's try again. What else do you have? You have the comment. The comment, sometimes you need it. The break point is where you want to stop the program. Okay. And uh, now here is the real view. This is something that we are going to use constantly in our, in our course. Statement. So there are many types. Input and output, they go together. Input is in blue, output is in green. Variables. You can do two things with variables. You can declare. Uh, Basically, you, you name your variable and you can assign the value to it. So this might be sort of like annoying for uh, the experienced programmer because sometimes you want to like declare and assign at the same line. But this is more like a structured programming. It's more or less like best practice. And so just stick with it. You declare and assign the two different things in, in the basic programming. Control, you have uh, ease, L. You have call for the function, which we will learn later in the class. Uh, and loop, there are three kinds of loops. Y loop, for loop, and do, which is called do y loop. And so in this class, we will focus on y loop and for loop. So let's try the basics of if. So the if is like the decision scroll. So let's, let's try this. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to add something here okay, in in the uh, in the line after after we assign two variable, and then we are going to uh, put the if condition in here. Now I'm going to change something. I'm going to remove this j equal to nine. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it an input from user. All right, and uh, this input is going to be something that we're gonna later assign to J. Okay? So we input something and we keep it assigned to J. And so this is like done in one line. Uh, if you if you take input from user and the variable to be assigned to that value. Uh, next, the if condition, we will work with this. Let, let's see what happens here. We are going to do I plus J in here. I plus J, which means we will use the I that we assigned from the beginning and we will 
add it to j, which is the, the value that we take from the user. Right? So one is the value that we assigned earlier, another one is the unknown value from the user. And if the two number adding together is greater than 10, we would do something. If it's not, we would do another thing. So let's see. Uh, if it is greater than 10, we would just say yes. Greater than 10. Right. And here, well, I'm just going to try to be lazy and just copy get it here. And then we change it to less. Less or equal to right so and this doesn't make sense anymore so we delete that and now let's switch back to the three window mode so let's see what happens let's save first i'm going to run it and uh, let's let's clear the console first so that you can see how i'm gonna run it so once you run the program something happens you can see that now the variable watch uh, it has been assigned to i j is still uninitialized because uh, it is now up to this block input j so i'm going to input 10 i'm going to input 10 and then i enter into the system and then the program is going to respond greater than 10 but it doesn't really make sense what is greater than 10 right we don't know so we better do something with it we are going to change it we are going to change and make it a little more readable for the human i plus j and then ampersand greater than 10. so what i'm doing here is what we call uh concatenation so this is like a computer term right okay. Uh, basically, it means we add two things together. We add uh, two different things together, and then we want them to uh, uh, connect and output. So I'm going to change this to I'm going to change this to i plus j m percent less or equal to ten. Now let's try again. Let's save and then try again. Four this time. So we change this four and then enter. Now it says uh, 4 and 8 adding together is 12. So 12 is greater than 10. Something is missing. You can see that there is, a, there is no space between 12 and greater. So you can fix that. And so what I'm doing here is like I'm playing with string output. I and J. This is, could be any number, right? The and is just the connecting point. And then greater than 10, we have no space here. Which means we have no space right here. But we can add it here and then greater it doesn't have to take the uh, capital. So, okay, and change this one too. All right now, it looks uh, a little more like normal English. Now. Try one more time. Um, like minus, oh, minus seven. Enter. So, one is less or equal to ten. All right, so that's the uh, that's the basic of this algorithms. Okay, you can use it in many different ways. You can uh, lay out it in different kind of windows that you wish. So the one that we'll be using the most, if you have enough uh, real estate of your screen, you could use either the variable watch or you could use variables and console together with the flowchart. So this is the one that I'm using. Now, one last thing before we go for this is that. I want to show you uh, when we when we uh, copy and paste or cut and paste. Typically, when you cut and paste like a block here, that is exploding without any attachment, without any child or children inside. So let's see what I mean. This is like one block that go from the top to the bottom. It doesn't have any connection more than that. So if you click and then you cut and then add it here. No big deal, right? It's just like one block go from one place to another. But if 
it's kind of special because if you click on the if block here it kind of highlights from here to the end here which means that in fact if take the form of like a block board from here up until here so the left and the right go together right so if you click I'm going to try showing you this, this thing but before that let me like reduce the size so you can see it clearly so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this whole block here. So I'm gonna right hand click and then copy. Then I'm going to I'm gonna paste it here right after the output of the greater than 10. So I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna paste it here. So you can see that what happens is there's another big E block here, which is exactly the same as the one on the parent, right? So now this if has one block on the left, which is the fall direction, and it has so many things going on on the right hand side here, the true direction, which includes this block, this if. Right? So that's how it works. Right? It is like a block programming. So you have to understand like this basic concept. There is a sequence, which is this part, which is like uh, independent from one another, each Step. But this Eve and later on the Y loop, they are sort of like the whole block that has a lot of things going on in the body. So the green thing here, left and right, and the whole block here, they're all in the body of this Eve. And so if you if you right click here and you cut you cut the whole thing, right? You can paste them back here, you redo, uh, undo, sorry, and then uh, if you move this one, so say you, you press delete, the whole thing just gone like that. Right? You can undo it. Oh, what I did just like I, I just copied like two levels of the block, so this is getting too big now. Okay, so you have like three layers of each. Alright, so that's how it goes, that's how it works for the block size of the programming. I hope this makes sense. Alright, until next time.